So let me ask you a question. If it's a seller's market, does that mean that we as agents should use mediocre and outdated marketing techniques just because we know your home's going to sell right away anyway? No, 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 no. It can cost you thousands if you make that mistake. So you're thinking about selling your home, or maybe you know somebody who has mentioned selling their home here in the Rochester, Minnesota area. Well, in either case, you've got to see this video. I am Kelly DeMail with DeMail Real Estate at eXp Realty. I want to talk about a few crucial errors that I see many sellers making that result in much lower profit margins and does not allow them to maximize the amount of money that they can actually make when they sell their home. I know, I know, it can be stressful. Who do you actually trust? And who should you actually listen to? Well, after assisting hundreds of Rochester, Minnesota area residents just like you, I totally get it. So let me be your guide. The most crucial element when selling your home is ensuring that you actually get maximum exposure. We need to make sure that we expose your house to thousands of people with digital marketing and not just a few. Most likely, you're actually watching this video right now through a detailed target market ad where I'm actually pixeling you, which means that I know what you like to watch and what your interests are. Think about the last time you actually Googled something. Everywhere you went online, what happened? That thing kept following you and showing up all over your social feeds and online. Well, that's what I do when buyers exhibit certain behaviors. You see, if you just take Facebook, for example, their algorithm can match a buyer's behavior to other people in the past who bought and then they tag them as an audience that we may want to follow that might want to buy your house. Then bam, I can start following them online and put the homes that I'm selling right in front of them online. I mean, ask yourself this question. If potentially taking an offer too soon or not exposing your home to every buyer could end up costing you ten or $15,000, would it make sense to actually make sure that you expose it to everybody? Well, yes, of course it would, because that could make the difference between you sending your kids to college or paying off that lingering credit card. So we both agree that exposure is everything. We're averaging over 30,000 views on our listing. So that's a lot of views. Just imagine how many open houses I'd have to do to get that type of exposure for you. Not to mention with everything we have going on, you don't want unqualified people walking through your home and touching little Johnny's toys. Here's the crazy thing. According to the National Association of Realtors, did you know that 67% of buyers will actually physically walk through a home that they've seen online? So imagine the power of having thousands and thousands of views from buyers who are potentially ready to buy. It's powerful, isn't it? So exposure is everything. There's so much more to consider when you're selling. Yes, even in a seller's market, you still want to make sure that you do anything and everything that you can to maximize the return on your most precious investment. So look out for other videos in this series where we dive deep into other marketing aspects and what's essential when you're thinking about selling your home. Again, I'm Kelly DeMail, and please reach out to us here at DeMail Real Estate so we can guide you through the sale process from when we put the sign in your front lawn to exposing your home to thousands of buyers online all the way through to handing the keys over to the buyer who's buying your home. We're always here to help you and we're looking forward to hearing from you. We love where we live and we want to make sure that you love where you live.